want a lot for Christmas. There's just one thing I receive everybody. I'm just now rolling out of bed and I think it's getting close to 11, something like that. And Atlas and I have been in the backyard playing fetch for the last little bit. He has a endless capability to play fetch. I think he would probably play himself into a stupor. But I'm about to do something really, really stupid. But I'm also sort of excited about it. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's on Christmas Eve. I am crazy. I know. I'm wearing my Chacos that Micah got me for my birthday this year. I'm very much enjoying them. Hey, I had a successful mission at Trader Joe's. I've got ingredients for making chili for tonight and then I got a couple of just kind of snacky things for us to have on Christmas. The first year that we were out here, we did not plan well <laughs> for Christmas. So on Christmas Day, we're like, ooh, we should have pancakes. And then we're like, let's go get some pancake mix. And Walmart was closed, which I mean, obviously makes sense. Um, but we, yeah, we did not plan for food on Christmas very well. So we ended up just kind of scrounging. But last year we prepared, and then this year we are definitely prepared. Micah is gonna make a beet Wellington which I am so excited about. I love beets and I'm also excited to see his creativity. He's very excited about this. So anyways, on to, I have to make a quick stop at Target and then I'm gonna get myself some coffee and then I'm gonna go home and stay home until we leave tonight for the white elephant. So yay. Okay, I'm home at last and I'm gonna show you everything I got from Trader Joe's. Here's the haul. So I got all these things to make the chili tonight with. Cilantro, beans, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, veggie broth, quinoa, garlic, onion, lime, and then this is what I got myself for lunch, a black bean and jack cheese burrito. It's just in like the refrigerated section. And then I got these for tomorrow, little apple blossoms. I've never tried them from Trader Joe's, but they look really good. And then these were one of their little Christmassy things that they had, so I thought that would be cute. And then this was my treat yourself moment from the Chip and Joanna Gaines collection at Walmart, wood smoke and cedar. And it smells so good. Oh, the candles smell so good. Look at my little sun bather. Are you just enjoying the sunshine, Mr. Pu Mr. Puppy? Oh yeah. <laughs> His tail. Good boy. So another thing I came home to today when I got through the door was a pile of mail. So I thought I would open some of the fun things. So we'll start with this one. This says to Rebecca and Michael White. I love blue. I love blue at Christmas. And it says, Merry Christmas, Rebecca and Micah. I miss you, Canyon. Oh, I love getting Christmas cards. It's so fun. And then here's another one also from Canyon. You must have been in the extra Christmas spirit. Oh, cute. Well, Foxy Loxy. Oh, it's from all of the Davises. Okay, so I thought it said C Davis, but it says the Davises. So from Emily and Jonathan and Canyon and Madeline. Merry Christmas, y'all. We love you so much. And then it's got all of their autographs on it. So cute. One from Asheville. Pretty sure I know who this is from. Foxes are the theme this year. It says season's greetings. So cute. Oh, and it has their picture. From Aaron and Beth and Leon and Silas. Yay. I love Christmas cards. Look at Leon is a little hipster there. So this is from the frame shop. Ha la 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 Whoa! <laughs> so we wish you the very best this holiday season. Rebecca, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you for your hard work. You are one special lady. Aw, so cute. And then, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Two passes to go see a movie. Um, and then $50 to the Fox Concepts restaurant. Don't care about those presents underneath the Christmas tree. So I just want you for my own. More than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. You know that all I want. 
for Christmas is you. I won't ask for much this Christmas. I won't even wish for snow. No, I'm just gonna I think keep we're just putting little poppy fireworks off, and Alice gets so afraid of fireworks, so he immediately wants to come lay in the bed. We kind of trained him to feel safe here in the bed over the summer whenever there were thunderstorms so he would feel okay if it stormed while we weren't home with him and so he seems to be fine but he was pretty frantic whenever he was in the backyard and they started setting him off which why are you setting off fireworks in the middle of the afternoon okay i am officially out of the shower ready to start getting ready and the chili has started cooking and i decided today i was going to do oops this little lip mask that I got on clearance from Target and I've never done one before so I'll bring you along with me for the experience. Okay so here's what was inside. My lips are definitely not anywhere near that large. Um, take out a lip mask and place it on clean lip. Leave on for 10 minutes and remove the mask. Gently pat until remaining essence sinks in. I'm so excited, but also very, it feels really like a slice of salami or something. Mmm. That was amazing. That was worth every cent of the two dollars. Really? That feels so good. I would highly recommend. Um, I never tried it before, but it feels really nice. It's like cool on your lips. Oh, good stuff right there. Okay, sorry it's super dark, but we're on the way to the Lloyd's house for um, Christmas Eve dinner and white elephant. And we started talking about um, the theme, the games and gadgets, and I think we should make a prediction as to what game we think will be um, in the pool of games tonight. Obviously we know what we brought so we can't say that, but Micah made his already. He, he had it like, he ready to go. So what was your prediction, Micah? Like one of those like, classic game sets, like checkers or chess or something. Okay, so like a checkerboard slash chess. Right. Maybe a combo? Oh, it's really dark. Right. Okay, I'm going to go for a little bit more of like a risky prediction. The first thing that popped into my head was Uno for some reason, but I don't think that that will be it. I think that's um, a very like everybody has Uno, maybe. I feel like most people would think that. My guess is going to be a version of Monopoly, an alternative version of Monopoly. That's my guess. Final answer. Show me that million dollars, Regis. All right, we'll let you know. That's the Starbucks where I used to work. Hey, Starbies. I spent so much time right there in that window. Back in the olden days. Look at this. We have two vegetarian chili options. Stephanie made the white one. Jason made it. I mean, Jason made the white one. <laughs> and I made the red one. Yummy! <laughs> this stresses me out. Mm -hmm. Imagine if that was your the way you socially interacted with other humans. Okay, okay! Wilbur looks like a statue. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get Micah? Monopoly. Many a fight will ensue during that game. <laughs> Giant pancake clipper and an avocado peeler. So Micah and I have a tradition of opening one of the gifts that we got each other on Christmas Eve. And I think we're going to do it now. For you. Thank you. Yours is on the. Mine's in a bag. Ooh, it's very light. So, 
You go first. What is this, Atlas? What is this? Hey. <laughs> this looks pretty cozy. It does, doesn't it? Uh -huh. What do you do? You. you like it? I do. Question. Hmm. Are you surprised? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! You knew I was getting you that. I mean, I didn't, I didn't like find it or anything, but yeah, we kind of found you, that together. You're welcome. That makes me glad I gave you that one tonight, then. So mm -hmm. it's like, hopefully tomorrow there will be more of a surprise. <laughs> Micah, you look really nice. Okay, guys, we are gearing up to go to bed. The last sleep till Christmas. This is it. Oh. After tonight, there's only one more time that you're going to hear us say the famous words, the oh. now famous words. We smell the dog. We smell the dog.